And then for my sky, I'm gonna be doing clouds and like a sunrise theme thing. So I like to kind of think of what colors I'm gonna need. And if I don't know for sure, I'll just put them aside. And also when I'm creating my palette and I have a lot of colors, if I use a certain color, I'll take it out of there and put it where I have this, the, them organized so I don't forget what I used. Because if I want to go back to it, I'm like, oh, what did I use for that? Mm -hmm. It's right there so I can see it. So I used white, the yellow. And then um, for a sky, I might do some blue. So I'll put a little blue down. And I might put that over here away from the yellows so that the blending doesn't get mixed up. And I don't know how much paint I'm going to use yet, so I'm just putting a little bit down so I can inspire myself also. And remember that you can always save your paint by taking it up with a palette knife and, um, put re and putting it into one of these to put into your freezer to make it last in a, in a, a plastic bag. And then it will unthaw the next day because it's water soluble. Yeah. Oh. It's nice. And it's a great way to make things last. So I also have a little bit of gold that I want to put on my body and I'm going to be doing light coming out of my body so I'll probably, you know, plan on that and I'm going to put a little gold down in the yellow section. Vundaba. Okay. So now, oh, I used those colors so I'm going to put those over here. And you can use these too, I'm just showing you how to keep your stuff organized because studios can get quite hectic, especially in a shared space of 25 people. And so that's why I like to have like a little system to my madness, so to yeah. speak. Okay. <laughs> and so then